happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. I am deducing that you are, in fact, working for the weekend. <laughs> this Giebel vlog contains a medium music nerd alert. We will be talking about some music in a vocabulary kind of way. You have been warned. So in recent history, there have been three shows that feature a new Sherlock Holmes. The feature film starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. The BBC series starring Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I love her, and the adorable hobbit Martin Freeman. Lastly, the CBS series starring Johnny Lee Miller and the kick took us Lucy Liu. And then one day I realized there's something oddly similar about all these musical renditions. But it was more than just timbral choices that was connecting these themes. And then it clicked. In some capacity, they're all in the same tonality. Dorian. Let's first talk about what I mean when I say tonality. A tonality is a collection of tones that a song uses as the basis for its creation of its main melody or tune. But it's also used in harmonizing the song with the notes that are used underneath the main melody. The very Various kinds of tonalities are formed by a particular series of whole and half step. To understand whole and half steps, it's easiest to look at a piano. Half steps are most typically the distance from white key to one black key, or one black key to one white key. There are a couple of white keys where there's no black key separating them, so in that case they are considered half steps. Whole steps are two half steps put together. In most cases, moving from white key to white key, or black key to black key, is a whole step. So as I said, tonalities are formed by a particular series of whole and half steps. Major, one of the two most common tonalities, is formed by the following series. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Using the same sequence of steps, I can create a major tonality starting on any note. Then use these notes for creating songs. Please don't take my sunshine away. Major. Minor, the other most common tonality, is formed by a different set of steps. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Here's an example of a minor song. Now you're just Now here is our step pattern for Dorian. Whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. Notice that the first four steps are the same as minor. Because of this, it often gets confused with minor. But it's the sixth scale degree that really makes it stick out as different. I told you our consulting detective uses this tonality. Let's listen in. The first one, Sherlock Holmes feature film. What we'd be listening in for if it's Dorian is the sixth tone degree. Let's listen in. right away for us. No doubting that one is definitely in Dorian. Next, the BBC series. But we'd still be listening in for that six scale degree. And in that moment we get the difference between the raised sixth and the lowered sixth goes back into minor instead of Dorian. This song just continues to do that throughout. It fails to commit to either one tonality or the other. So we're never totally sure if it is truly Dorian or if it's truly minor. The last one, the CBS series Elementary, is gonna start here. What they're doing is kind of tricky. Playing open chords. And open chords are gonna be able to give me the six that I need so much. I finally get a filled in chord, which gives me the raised six sound that I always wanted, and Dorian it is, baby! And now a haiku! Just like Sherlock Holmes looking for clues in music. Yes, the game is on.